10 Weird Foods and Restaurants in Tokyo. The Reasons Why Japanese Love It. Food is a big attraction for travelers. If you are the first visitor to Japan, you must be interested in what Japanese people eat in everyday life and what they taste like. Japanese food culture would be unknown for many. We do not eat sushi and tempura every day and there are many other daily dishes. Even though some ingredients are very familiar to us, you may hesitate to try them. 10 Weird Foods and Restaurants in Tokyo introduce those kinds you might think are unbelievable to eat. Having a try at something weird may be challenging, but we recommend you try because they are incredibly delicious. 10 Weird Foods and Restaurants in Tokyo also cover not only restaurants but something you can easily get in a convenience store or grocery store. Try Weird Food in Tokyo, Dishes. There are lots of regional specialties, but some of which are not very familiar even to us. The dishes introduced below were originally regional specialties, but now you can eat them almost everywhere in Tokyo because the distribution system has been fully developed. Tori Sashi, Chicken Sashimi. Chicken sashimi is sliced lightly broiled chicken breast, which has been eaten in Kyushu southern Japan. Torasashi may rather be creepy for you to eat raw chicken meat and you must be anxious about food poisoning and contamination, but don't worry. Chicken used for sashimi is specially cooked, prepared and it is not completely raw. Torasashi is served with minced green onion, ground ginger, or spicy grated radish, which have antibacterial effects. Torasashi tastes different from baked one and is soft, tender and delicious like tuna sashimi. Recommended restaurants in Tokyo, Tori Husa, in Tateishi. You cannot miss Tori Husa, they because local people always make a long line. Tori Husa, is famous for its fried half chicken and torasashi. Welcome to Japan. You can experience a typical izakaya restaurant in Tokyo and learn how Tokyoites enjoy nightlife after work. Location. One minute walk from Kaisei Oshiage Line to Teishi Station. Opens. 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. on weekdays and Saturdays except for Tuesdays. 3 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. on Sundays and public holidays. If you have a chance to visit Tokyo Skytree, how about going further to take a peep into deep Tokyo life? Basashi, horse meat sashimi. You must feel that basashi is weird because you don't have a custom of eating horse. Basashi, or horse meat sashimi has been eaten in some regions like Kumamoto, Nagano, and Fukushima Prefecture where horses are bred. You may think it unbelievable to eat horse, actually, so did I until I visited Kumamoto and ate basashi. Surprisingly it doesn't smell meat and tastes really light. As the distribution has been developed, basashi has come to be served at izakaya restaurants in Tokyo and become very popular. Usually served thinly sliced and half frozen, basashi is eaten after dipping it into soy sauce with ground ginger and garlic or spicy garlic miso paste. You may have strong resistance to eating horse meat, but once you can get over the mental hurdle, you surely will become a big fan of Japanese delicacies. The more fresh the sweeter basashi tastes. In addition, horse meat is very popular among ladies as it is healthy with low calorie, low cholesterol, low fat, and high protein. Recommended restaurant in Tokyo, Basashi Amasashi in Asakusa. Basashi Amasashi is a chain restaurant special in horse meat dishes. Basashi Amasashi serves fresh horse meat from Kumamoto and we can taste various parts of horse meat in different ways of cooking, not only for sashimi, but also steak and hot pot dishes. Location. One min walk from exit 3 of Tokyo Metro Ginza Line Asakusa Station. Opens. 4 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. on weekdays. 12 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. on weekends and public holidays. Motsunabi, beef, pork tripe hot pot. Motsunabi is a type of hot pot dish made from beef or pork organ. Motsunabi was originally a local food in Fukuoka Prefecture of Kyushu area, but some Motsunabi restaurants advanced into Tokyo in the 1990s. Then Motsunabi enjoyed a boom made by the mass media and became known nationwide. The Fukuoka-type Motsunabi is made with beef tripe, cabbage and garlic chives. The base soup has soy sauce flavor or miso paste flavor with garlic and chili pepper. Generally, organ dishes are popular among busy workers and young athletes, because organs are rich in amino acids and garlic helps you recover from fatigue. In addition, organ dishes are affordable, but also known as rich food in collagen. 
Motsunabe has become more and more popular among young women, and now Motsunabe is loved by a wide range of age groups. Eating organs may be incredible for you, but Motsunabe is a relatively low hurdle. Why don't you try and make a good memory for your trip to Japan? Recommended restaurant in Tokyo, Motsunabe Yamasho, Ningyocho, Yamashos. Head restaurant is in Fukuoka Prefecture and you can taste authentic Fukuoka Motsunabe. You must be excited by its traditional Japanese townhouse appearance. Motsunabe Yamasho serves three types of Motsunabe, soy sauce flavor, miso flavor, and spicy miso flavor. Besides Motsunabe, they provide lots of local cuisine of the Kyushu area. Location. 3 minutes walk from Tokyo Metro Hibiya Line or Toei Asakusa Line Ningyocho Station opens. 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. on weekdays and 12 a.m. to 10 p.m. on weekends and public holidays except for the end of the year and New Year holiday. Due to several restrictions of COVID-19, the business hours and days off of each restaurant are subject to change. Better to contact the restaurant before you visit. Looks weird still delicious food in Tokyo, seafoods. In a fancy sushi restaurant or traditional Japanese restaurants, you can taste some weird but delicious food. They are Shirako and Wuni. Shirako Soft Roe Milt. You may be surprised that Japanese eat such a thing when you hear the English name. When you look at Shirako it may remind you of the human brain. Shirako is soft roe milt, simply the testes of male fish of codfish, anglerfish, or pufferfish. Soft roe of pufferfish is known as a very expensive ingredient which can be eaten only in exclusive restaurants. Shirako is usually served as an ingredient of sushi, tempura, hot pot dish with vinegar sauce. Mainly in winter, codfish soft roe is often served as an ingredient of hot pot dishes in izakaya restaurants. Shirako may look creepy, but actually is soft, fluffy, creamy, and melty, a very popular delicacy. Recommended restaurant in Tokyo, Otomo. Otomo is a small but popular izakaya bar in a business district. In this area, there are lots of small bars in izakaya, but this izakaya is especially affordable but delicious. Location. Just two minutes walk from Junior Shimbashi Station Karasumori Exit opens. 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. every day except on Sundays and public holidays. Wuni. Wuni is sea urchin. The visitors from overseas may feel urchin as weird as it smells fishy, texture is too soft, and shell looks prickly to appetize. Sea urchins are typically spiny, globular animals. About 950 species live on the seabed, inhabiting all oceans. Wuni are eaten in parts of Italy and America, where they export lots of sea urchin to Japan. But here in Japan Wuni is often served raw in Japanese restaurants or sushi restaurants. Wuni are usually very expensive and are treated as delicacies. The fresher the better Wuni tastes. Fresh sea urchins are creamy, a bit sweet, melty and worthy to try. Recommended Restaurant. Wuni Koya. Wuni Koya is a very popular izakaya restaurant specialized in seafood dishes including sea urchins. People visit here to have fresh sea urchins at a reasonable price. Location. 5 minutes away from Junior Takadano Baba Station with Sita Exit. Opens. 5.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. every day. Price. Around 6,000 to 8,000 yen. Wuni Koya also has a branch in Shibuya. Due to several restrictions of COVID-19, the business hours and days off of each restaurant are subject to change. Better to contact the restaurant before you visit. Meat Weird Food in Tokyo, accompaniment for rice. Meat Weird Food in Tokyo introduces traditional Japanese foods which look weird but we Japanese have eaten as daily food at home since a long time ago. You can easily get them in grocery stores, convenience stores and supermarkets. Natto, fermented beans. Natto, natto may be pretty hard for you to try because it is sticky. The smell and the texture are completely different from the foods you've ever eaten. Actually, there are a certain number of Japanese who hate natto and never eat it. Natto is fermented food which was said to be made accidentally during a procedure more than 1000 years ago. In the early 20th century, natto started to be made with pure cultured fungus. As it is nutritious and rich in fiber and protein, many Japanese have eaten natto on warm rice with a bit of soy sauce and mustard for breakfast at home. 
so you may have already seen it on the buffet table of hotel breakfast. Usually natto is topped on rice and eaten with green onion and mustard. Natto goes well with Korean pickles, kimuchi, or roasted sesame oil. You can find some dishes like raw squid sashimi with natto on the restaurant menu. Umeboshi. You may feel resistant to eating umeboshi as it is too salty and sour. Umeboshi is a pickled plum, which was introduced from China a long long time ago. We can find umeboshi in a document written in the 11th century. Umeboshi's soreness comes from citric acid which accounts for two or three times as much as lemon, and protects us from fatigue, cold or heat stroke. So umeboshi has been loved by Japanese people and many families still make umeboshi at home. As the smell of umeboshi contains antimicrobial effects, the mother put umeboshi on rice of kids lunchbox as a preservative. Traditional umeboshi is too salty and sour, so nowadays sweetened umeboshi with honey and seaweed flavored ones are invented for kids or who hate it. You can eat umeboshi on rice or as seasonings for dried rice or salad dressings. Chiraman Jacko, Dried Young Sardines. Chiraman Jacko may look very creepy because you feel sorry when you see their eyes. Chiraman Jacko or Shirasu are young sardines which are boiled in salty water, dried under the sun and served with a bowl of rice. As Chiraman Jacko is drier and not so fishy flavored like raw Shirasu, it doesn't look weird and can be eaten without hesitation. Chiraman Jacko is rich in calcium and DHA. 100 grams of Chiraman Jacko contains calcium for 620 milliliters of milk, but should be avoided from overeating as it contains a lot of salt and cholesterol. In some restaurants, Chiraman Jacko are served with grated white radish and a bit of soy sauce on rice in a small bowl. As Japan is surrounded by the sea and rich in fishery, so why not try weird but very delicious fish cuisine? Looking for something weird themed restaurant in Tokyo. Lastly, we introduce some unique themed restaurants in Tokyo. They may be touristic but still very attractive and interesting. The Lockup Shinjuku Horror Themed Izakaya. Are you interested in prison life? To enter this prison-like restaurant, you have to confess your crime to be arrested. The prison guard handcuffs you and leads you in the dim light to a dark cell. The food looks very horrible and elaborate as if they were devil's hands. You can also make your own original cocktail using a flask, beaker, and a test tube. Events held once every few hours will make you fun and terribly excited. Location. 2-minute walk from Junior Shinjuku Station East Exit. Opens. 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. on weekdays and days before public holidays. 12 a.m. to 11 p.m. on weekends and public holidays. No regular closing day. Ninja Akasaka Ninja-themed Izakaya. Ninja Akasaka is a very popular restaurant where you can enjoy entertainment by ninja and elaborate foods in a hideout. Proceeding the dark hallway with lots of tricks performed by ninja, you may feel as if you are really in an old house in the Edo period. Dishes with unique appearance are brought by a ninja-clad host who gives you some exciting performance. Quality of food is generally good. Location. 3 minutes away from Tokyo Metro Ginza Line or Marinucci Line Akasaka Mitsuke Station. Opens. 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. every day. No regular closing day. When you visit those theme restaurants, we recommend you to book a table beforehand. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of video, check out our channel sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.